Why did you jump off the Golden Gate Bridge? Larry, I was in the greatest pain I ever experienced, and it was mental. And it was mental. And it was mental. I stood atop that bridge after catching two buses there. On that bus, you are very, very emotional. I sat in that back row crying like a baby and praying that one person would say, hey, kid, are you okay? The man to my left was the only man to react aloud. What the hell's wrong with that guy while laughing at my pain? That broke me. And I was like, well, I guess I have to die. All I wanted that day was for one human being to see my pain. And the bus gets to the Golden Gate Bridge parking lot, and I'm the last person off the bus. I was walking up to the bus driver, hoping that he would see my pain. But instead, he goes, come on, kid, get off the bus. I get off, like, I walk onto the bridge, crying, hoping someone stops me. And a woman from my left approaches me, and she's smiling. And I thought, this is it. This is the woman that's going to save my life. Pulled out a digital camera. And she said, will you take my picture? I took her picture five times. She walked away. The voice in my head screamed, jump now, and I did. The millisecond that my hands left that rail, I had an instant regret of my action. I fell 220 feet, 25 stories at 75 miles an hour in four seconds. My legs were immobile. I swam to the surface only using my arms. I had shattered my T12, L1, L2 lower vertebrae into shards like glass. I prayed, God, please save me. I made a mistake on repeat and I believe he heard me. I mean, literally a miracle. A miracle happened. I cannot stay afloat, I'm going to drown. And that's when something began circling me. It was large, very slimy, and very alive. And I remember thinking to myself, you've got to be kidding me. I didn't die jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge and a shark is going to eat me. No longer am I wading in the water. I'm lying atop it on my back being kept buoyant by this creature. Thinking to myself, this is one heck of a nice shark. It turned out, ladies and gentlemen and friends, that it was not a shark, it was a sea lion. A woman driving by and saw me go over that rail and she called her friend in the Coast Guard, who happens to be manning the waters of the bridge at that very moment. It's keeping me afloat until the Coast Guard border rise behind me. I was in seven psych ward stays in the next 11 years, and it was the hardest 11 years of my life. In my third psych ward stay, everything changed. I get a tap on my left shoulder, and I turn around. And there she was. Her name was Margaret. I said to myself in my head, I'm gonna marry her. And she is now my wife. My dad took me back to the bridge a year later to the date of my anniversary. I showed him the exact light rail I jumped out. I knew exactly where it was. And he, we said a prayer together, and he says, drop the flower. And I dropped the flower and wafted down hit the water and made the tiniest ripple effects and two feet to the right popped up a sea lion. And I still struggle with chronic suicidal thoughts. And every time I look in the mirror, I hated what I saw until I realized I could change what I believed. You were the first person to ever say, you know, Kevin, you should talk about this. And I remember when you first said it, I thought, what? What does he mean? Talk about this. We're talking right now. But but you meant to, to make an impact on, on people's lives. My purpose is to travel the world 300 plus days a year and try to help other people to stay here. We must look to the people in pain and say, are you okay? Can I help you? You see, my friends, we are not here to damage or hurt each other with our words and actions. We're here to give back to everyone in pain. If you share your pain, if you never silence your pain, no matter if you're the toughest person in any room, you can always survive the pain. I live with chronic thoughts of suicide. They plague me. They'll never kill me. I get to be here. And getting to be here is a privilege and a gift, no matter the pain I am in. I wish I knew back then what I know today, that our thoughts do not have to become our actions. Say it with me, our thoughts. Do not. I have to become my actions. My actions. You deserve to be here. You are valuable. You are worthy. You matter. Suicide is never the solution to our problems. It is the problem. Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday is history. Tomorrow, it's a mystery. Today is a gift. That is why we call it the present. And whatever you do, be here tomorrow. Yeah.